kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part four of my video series on video trim app using Fire FFmpeg library in Android Studio. All right, guys. So, in this video, I will try to. Uh, okay, so first of all, we will uh, create a menu. So here we can create a menu directory, and here we can choose the menu and then inside this menu we are going to create a new resource file menu resource file and we name it as menu and for this menu part we will have the id item so go to text view text uh, design view and inside that we can have item and then we can set the id of it as trim then we have the title as trim then we will have the show as action and it will be always all right then after we do this we can now have the two methods on options item created and on create options menu so we have we can have the on create options menu okay so let me do that and first let me close this this nut and let me also close that and here we can have on options item selected and on create options menu so inside that on create options menu we can have let me show you so here we have menu inflator inflator equal to get menu inflator then we can say inflator dot inflate and here we can say our dot menu dot menu and we can finally pass this menu and we just need to return true then inside this on options item selected method here we can now check and here we can say if item dot get item id equal to r dot id dot trim then we can say final alert dialog dot builder alert equal to new alert dialog dot builder and here we can pass the trim activity dot this and then we can say linear layout linear layout equal to new linear layout and here inside that we can also pass the trim activity dot this all right then we can say linear layout dot set orientation and we can set it to linear layout dot vertical and then we can say linear layout dot layout params lp equal to new linear layout dot layout params and inside that we can also say linear layout dot layout params dot match parent and then we can say linear layout dot linear layout params dot wrap content then we can simply set the margin so we can say lp dot set margins and for that we can say 50 for the left then 0 then 50 then 100 and then finally we can say edit text we can 
so basically we will try to save the video with this uh, with the name the user provides inside this edit text so here we can say input equal to new edit text and inside that we can say trim activity dot this and then we can say input dot set layout params and here we can pass the lp and then fine we can say input dot set gravity and here we can say gravity dot top or gravity dot start then we can say input dot set input type and here we can say input type dot type text type text flag cap sentences and finally we can say layout linear layout dot add view and here we can pass this input and the lp all right then after that we can have the title and the message so we can say alert dot set message and we can set the message as set video name then we can say alert dot set title and the title will be change video name and then we will say alert dot set view and here we can pass the linear layout then we can say alert dot set negative button and there we can say cancel then new dialog interface then inside this we can just dismiss the dialog then we have we can have the positive button so we can say alert dot set positive button and here we can say submit and inside this positive button so first of all we will uh, we will try to get the name of which the user entered so here we can say file prefix equal to input dot get text dot to string and then we can just pass this to the trim video method and inside that we can first of all send the minimum value and then the selected maximum value so basically these will be in seconds and then the file prefix so for that we can first of all say range seek part dot get selected min value dot int value multiply by thousand then for the max value we can say range seek part dot get selected max value dot int value static thousand and then we can say file prefix alright so we will try to create this method and basically we will write the command in this method but before that we can just complete this so for that what we will do is okay so after that we can just uh, open the progress bar activity so let's create a new activity and that will be progress bar activity
all right so now in this stream activity after we have this command so we will just try to send this command and then uh, okay so now we can just write intent i equal to new intent and okay so let's change the name to okay so i think okay my intent equal to new intent and here we can say trim activity dot this and we can say progress bar activity dot class and we can say start activity and we have this my active uh, intent here okay so before that we can send some values so first of all we can send put extra and for that first of all we will send the duration of the video then we will send the command and then the destination path so first of all the duration and then we can say duration then we can pass the command and so it will be this command and then we will have the destination so we can say my intent dot put extra and here we can pass the destination and we can say dash dot get absolute path and finally we will start the activity and then we will finish this current activity and then we can dismiss this dialog and finally we can just show the activity or sorry show the alert dialog all right guys so i think that is enough for uh, this video because that video is now uh, a bit longer so guys in our next part of the video we will write the command and then we will send this command to our next activity that is the progress bar activity all right guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye